Hi guys, now let's have a look at how to use the contour tool to create cut and bleed lines for cutting and sublimation design work on the iPad. And you can see I've got an example right to the start there. Now let's get right to it. I'm using a device, the iPad 9.7 Retina screen. That's the default that comes up on mine. So just use the default. It doesn't really matter which one. So just accept that one. Click OK and you've created your first canvas. Now I've pinched the canvas in a little bit so I can see the entire document on the screen. Now draw out a rectangle and I've got a rectangle there and I've coloured it a teal blue colour. Set rounded corners, that's in your context toolbar, set the corners to round, then grab the little red dot in the top left and drag the corner out so it's much smaller. You just want a smooth round corner you don't want huge big circle corners. The teal RGB sliders, they're set to 168, 235, 235. Centre the object on the, on the canvas, give it a name and save it. Now I'll get a bit more complex later, so don't worry. Set the stroke colour to black, but note you won't see it yet. That's the, the you've got your colour dot there. And at the moment it's teal blue and the donut shape is black. And that's what you want. You've got that set to black. Now, select the Stroke Studio and set the stroke width to three points. Now the Stroke Studio is a little wavy line just below your colour dot in the top right hand corner there. Now it's important to make sure you have the rectangle layer selected so it's active. Otherwise, setting the stroke won't work. It doesn't know where to set it. So next layer. Draw out a no corner rectangle to go over the teal rectangle and centre it. You can see I've got no corners. It's set to none. The RGB is 168, 82, 235. So it's a slightly mm, purplish colour, I guess. Set the, again, set the stroke colour to black. Make sure that layer is selected and set the stroke to 1.5 points. That's a very thin line. That's all you need for this one. Now we can add a cut or clear line to the design. We'll use the contour tool for this. Make a copy of the teal blue layer and place it on the bottom of the layer stack. Select the contour tool on the left toolbar and set the radius in the context toolbar to 20 points. We now need to refine this contour. Now the contour tool is the on the left hand toolbar, one, two, three, it's the fourth tool down. Kind of looks like a, a wheel with an axle or, a, or a, a bar coming out of it. You'll see it there anyway. Hold down the question mark key if you're looking for it and you'll see it, the contour tool. Make sure the right layer is selected when you do that. Select the bottom layer, make sure it's selected, and select its fill colour dot and set it to no fill. You can see up there it's the white circle with the blue line through it. This leaves the contour outline exactly in place. So you've got your purple square, your teal blue cornered rectangle and the outline exactly in place. Now finally, for this part of the exercise, let's finish with some text on a curve. Create an ellipse, write some text on a curve, convert everything to curves and for the text, merge the curves. And it's finished. Now let's look at this process with another more likely image. You can see the layers I've got there. Very clear, very easy. I mean, you don't have to have the text, but um, it's a good little exercise to see how things go on there. Now let's have a look at what else I've got. This I'm not going to step through exactly other than to tell you what's happening. This process is exactly the same as the purple rectangle there with the text in that we just did, and you end up with a pre-vector image suitable for cutting. Now here we have just an outline. 
You can see the outline of the kangaroo and the joey there and also the full colour image with a thick border and a cut-off line or bleed outside that. You'll see the little black join marks around the edge. These are mm, curves and can be removed with the node tool. So let's see. The image I used has a lot of overlapping curves in it and they've created those little black scratches there. Now I haven't spent a, a long time refining those to get rid of them because that's something you could do yourself quite easily. So first I have an embedded document just as, as an example and that's the kangaroo with the joey, just the black outline. Remember double tapping on the icon in the layer allows you to edit the original document. Go ahead, try it. But we're not using that one anyway, it's just there for example. Now we have the main image we're working on. It's, it's image up to the same way as the original square. The top layer full curve set. The next layer down is the outline. A copy of the third layer set with the contour tool. The third layer is also set with the contour tool. So you've got the top one, two, three layers there. All done exactly the same as the squares and rectangles over the left hand side. Now there's the top layer complete with all its curves. The second layer is the first layer duplicated then all of its elements merged with the Merge Curves tool. Then its outline set to 12 picks with the Contour tool. Notice the imperfections creeping in, creeping in as little black marks. Remove them with the Node tool and the Delete option in its Context toolbar. That's a bit of a fiddle and we won't go right through it here because it takes quite a while on that particular image. You can see them clearly there. The third layer is again set further out with the contour tool and the outline stroke set to about 12 pixels. The fill set to no fill, just the same as the rectangle. That's the, that's the circle with the line through it. This leaves only the outline stroke. Again you can remove the extra stroke marks with the node tool and delete and other options that are there. Now I've exported the whole project as a JPEG file, but of course it's pure curves, so ideally you can use it as SVG. It does very much depend on the image you use as your original. This one has many many curves or strokes in it, so it's going to be difficult to clean it up and get rid of the black stroke ends. So let's leave it there and see how you get on with your own much simpler designs. If you pick out a commercial uh, image as I've done there, they usually come with thousands of strokes in them and that will take you some time to clean up. But something as simple as a cat, well that's uh, easy. This cat is one curve, the original curves are all merged, then the geometry tool is used to add them into one image. Contour tool used to expand by 26 pixels and the colour is set to none and the stroke set to black, 12. And you can see the original faint blue border there and the new border is the heavy black one um, a little way out. Now the original set, you can see the layer there, top layer is turned back on and here you have the result. Now it's still all curves very easy to deal with and you can make it any size because it's pure curves, SVG. And thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. It's a quick little exercise on using the contour tool. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up for a like and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it.